Hi, and welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. Today, we're gonna to draw the first in a new category I'm going to call Cartoon Characters with Really Weird Heads. And boy, are there a lot of them. We'll start things off with a member of the Weird Head Hall of Fame, Phineas Flynn, from Disney's Phineas and Ferb. Phineas's head is shaped like, well, like a Cool Ranch Dorito, or maybe part hammerhead shark. And is it just me, or does the top of his head look like a palm tree? Anyways, all you're gonna need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw Phineas. <laughs> We're going to draw Phineas step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. Cool Ranch Dorito head, sorry, Phineas, is almost exactly two heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body height is two of those. All right, so let's start with that roadmap for Phineas. So there's our roadmap for Phineas. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put Phineas's eyes, mouth, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. So let's rough out Phineas's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for Phineas Flynn. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw the final details of Phineas. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. All right, so let's draw in the details for Phineas. Right, there he is, a founding member of the Weird Head Hall of Fame, Phineas Flynn. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Phineas before, you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring him during this video, because I want my lessons to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Phineas. With that, you can draw him again and again, and by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the Level Up Cartooning process. So now I'd love to see your drawing of Phineas. If you can, take a picture and post it to either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had fun with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.